peace welcome back to my channel so i'm back with another makeup tutorial and today i decided to do kind of a gray cool tone makeup look and it's kind of a monochromatic look because as you all can see like everything is matching right here i have my gray outfit my gray lips my gray eyes everything is all gray cool tone look and also we have a giveaway going on today the hair company decided to sponsor us for a giveaway so it's not all that but nadula hair this is a hundred percent human hair company so they deal on all kinds of human hair from your brazilian to your peruvian indian malaysian like name it any human hair at all you want and the winner gets to go home with bundles of hair and also a frontal so definitely check out my description box for all the giveaway info and also i believe we have three winners the first winner is going to win you know a set of hair plus a closure or a frontal and then the two other winners are going to have like a um, $20 gift card on their website so whenever you want to purchase hair if you go to their website you're going to have $20 off I have my package right here and for the one I received from the company I'm going to be doing a giveaway on my Instagram account so definitely make sure you follow me on Instagram whoever wins this you guys your hair is definitely going to be popping because all these are like long lengths so this is the frontal right here like this hair is so gorgeous and also it's already like pre-plucked and also pre-bleached so you basically just need to go to a salon and fix it as you all can see like this frontal right here is giving me life the hair is so soft so cute look at that so i have four bundles of 24 inches and also 20 inches plus a 20 inch matching less frontal definitely check out my um instagram because i'm going to be posting the rules and the pictures of this hair very very soon but yeah you guys i hope you all enjoyed this makeup tutorial and if you want to see how i achieved this gorgeous like cool tone gray makeup look then definitely keep on watching all right guys so we're going to start off with the eyes i feel like i'm just going to start off with the eyes for today's tutorial and i'm going to be priming my eyes with my LA Girl Pro Primer HD High Definition Eyeshadow Primer. What a long name. So I'm going to use this primer and just get my eyelids ready before we apply, you know, our eyeshadow. And eyeshadow primers simply just helps your eyeshadows, you know, adhere properly. And they also help a lot in giving you the exact color payoff of your eyeshadow as you can see from the eyeshadow um, palette or, from, or on the eyeshadow pan. So I'm going to be using my Zoeva eyeshadow palettes like it's been such a long time I used this palette So I'm going to be using these two palettes and I'll pick up this shade right here This one is called Substitute for Love and it's kind of a you know a warm brown color And this will serve as our transitional shade This is actually what is going to make your other shadows you're going to use um, later blending properly So for our next shade, I'm going to go into the rose gold palette and I'll pick up this grey shadow right here. This one is called Harmony and I will begin applying it on my crease. And you want to, you know, concentrate the colors right on the crease because like we are using I think just three colors for today's tutorial. So you want to make sure you pack, you know, as much as as much of the grey colors as you can. And while I'm applying this color, I'm going to start from my outer V. I'm just going to like pack the color right there and then blend it into my crease i'm going to go in with the first blending brush we used and i'm just going to use it to blend the two colors together so i'm going to dip in this crease color and i'm using my color pop um super shock shadow in party time it's kind of a dark gray um, eyeshadow I'm not sure if my camera can pick that up but it's a beautiful like dark gray color I'm still gonna go into my crease and use it to dip in this color right there and always remember to go in and blend I'm gonna pick up this shade right here and it's kind of a cream um, matte eyeshadow this one right here and we're just going to apply it right on the marble lid area and while i'm applying it i'm simply tapping it like i want to blend this light color and the gray shade so i'm just tapping it like all over my lid just want it to be a flush of color you know no 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 lines no demarcations nothing just one flush of color so for liner i'm using my tarte liquid liner and i'm simply gonna go for a very nice winged liner Oh, 
Okay, so to line my waterline, I'm going to be using the same pencil and it comes with two, um, you know, two tips. I have the liquid liner tip and then the waterline um, liner tip. So I'm going to just use the this tip right here to apply on my waterline. So for mascara, I'm going to be using my Maybelline Total Temptation Mascara. And for lashes, I'm going to be using one of my all-time favorites and is the Salon Perfect 615 Lashes. I don't know if this is a myth, but a lot of dermatologists said that you know your skin produces excessive oil when it feels like it doesn't have you know enough oil so in order to prevent that i was recommended to start using you know a face oil first before my foundation so it's, i'm just going to apply a tad bit of this oil all over my face make sure i rub it into my skin and then wait for like two minutes before i go in with the next thing So for primer, I'm going to be using my Makeup Forever Step 1 Skin Equalizer. I'm just going to deposit just a tad bit of the primer, especially on the areas where I produce oil the most, like on my T-zone, my forehead, my chin, and then I distribute the remaining all over my skin. Okay, so I'm going to go in with this powder right here, and this is the Cover FX um, Blotting Powder, and I've noticed that Whenever I use this powder first before my foundation, it prevents oil from producing on my face. So I'm simply just going to tap it, you know, onto my brush and then press it all over my, my face, especially on the areas where I normally produce oil. And as you all can see, like instantly it mattifies everywhere. Alright, so for foundation, I'm going to be using my Kat Von D Lucky Tattoo Foundation in Deep 71. All right, so you guys sold me on this concealer from my last tutorial. I absolutely love it, but the only problem I have with this is I can't seem to find my shade. Like, it's either it's too dark or it's too light. So, I decided to pick up two of the concealers, and I have the shade in sand and also in deep so I'm going to, I'm so I'm going to be mixing these two concealers today another thing I've noticed with this concealer is you have to work fast because like it dries up quickly so you have to really work fast and when I'm highlighting my under eye I love to draw kind of a V underneath my eyes because I don't like taking it out too much because like when I take it out too much it just makes my face appear wider so I love to keep it right underneath my eyes And as you all can see, I also applied uh, my contour, which I'm going to blend out soon. Thank you guys so much for recommending this concealer because I'm loving it. Like it gives my under eye a very nice full coverage and also a matte finish, which I absolutely love. This is going to be perfect, especially if you have an oily skin and you know you produce oil, especially on your T-zone. I'm going to use this brush and blend out my contour. Alright, so to set my concealer, I'm going to be using my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. I'll go ahead and set the rest of my face with my L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Powder in C6. Oh my gosh. <laughs> And then whatever is left on the brush, I'm going to go ahead and use it and set the areas where I highlighted so everything will blend in together. Alright, so going back to this palette, I'm going to use this shape right here and use it to smoke out my bottom lash line. After that, I'll go in with this grey tone we used from this palette. You know what, I think I'm going to add a pop of color to this look and I'm going to be using these two um, eyeliner, they're from LA Girl Cosmetics and I'll go in with the darker blue and just use it to line my waterline. And then I'll go in with the lighter blue. 
that I'll apply mascara on my lower lash line. So I'm going to contour and chisel out my face with my sleek contour kit in medium. And for blush, I'm using MAC Breath of Plum. For highlights, I'm going to be using my Rolla Gela Gilded Honey Highlight. Alright, so for the lips, I'm going to be using Colourpop Capio Liquid Lipstick. You know what, I think I'm going to change this lipstick. I don't like the fact that it's shiny. It's not like completely matte. I'm going to clean it off and then go in with my MAC Stone lipstick. I kind of like this lips better. And yeah, you guys, that is it for today's tutorial. I decided to change into my gray top. And yeah, guys, don't forget to check out my description box for every info regarding the products I used in this video. And also, if you're interested in the giveaway, definitely check out my description box for all the giveaway rules. Hope you all enjoyed. And please don't forget to give me a huge thumbs up and also hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And to my next video, I will see you all very, very soon.